Welcome to Investify, the place where finance meets the future. Today, we're diving into a story that's as much about space as it is about the global tech rivalry. So, buckle up, we're launching into a journey through time and innovation. Let's rewind to the year 2000, a year that marked a phenomenal leap for humanity. This was when the International Space Station, or ISS, orbited our blue planet for the first time. A staggering $100 billion project, funded by powerhouses like the USA, Russia, Japan, the European Space Agency, and Canada. Imagine a science laboratory floating in space, the epitome of international collaboration and scientific advancement. But as the 2000s unfolded, another player, China, was gearing up to join this elite space club. Their ambition was sky high, aiming to be part of the ISS. However, in a twist of events, in 2011, the US barred China from the ISS due to concerns over intellectual property. It was a decision that would reshape the space race as we knew it. Undeterred, China's response was not just swift, but ambitious. Post-2011, they kick-started their very own space station project, the Tiangong. Fast forward to 2022, and Tiangong becomes operational, a testament to China's rapid technological advancements. And here's a thought that will send your mind into orbit. By 2030, with the ISS scheduled for retirement, Tiangong might be the only operational space station circling Earth. But our story doesn't just float in space, it's also grounded in a fierce technological battle. Starting in 2018, the US-China tech war entered a new frontier, semiconductors. The US, in a strategic move, restricted China's access to advanced US semiconductor equipment. We saw a blacklist emerge, with Chinese tech giants like ZTE and Huawei finding themselves in the crosshairs. Then came 2022, a year that marked a significant escalation in this tech cold war. The US imposed a comprehensive ban, effectively cutting off all Chinese firms from buying leading edge semiconductors and related equipment. It was a move that signaled more than just trade restrictions. It was a battle for technological supremacy. Now, let's shift our focus to a remarkable feat in 2023. Amidst these restrictions, China made a stunning breakthrough. Huawei, a name synonymous with resilience in the tech world, launched the Mate 60 Pro. But what's so special about this smartphone? It's powered by a seven nanometer chip, a marvel of miniaturization and efficiency. This chip isn't just designed by Huawei, it's also manufactured by China's very own SMIC, a clear signal that China isn't just playing the tech game, they're aiming to redefine it. But wait, there's more. China didn't just stumble upon this success. They invested a colossal sum, over $100 billion, into domestic semiconductor firms like SMIC and Huawei. This is not just investment, it's a declaration of technological independence and ambition, Speaking of semiconductors, let's talk about why they're the lifeblood of modern technology. It all comes down to transistor size, measured in nanometers. The smaller the transistor, the more powerful and efficient the chip. It's like packing more horsepower into an engine, while making it more fuel efficient. This arena has some heavyweights. Apple's M1 chips, crafted by the maestros at TSMC, stand out. Then there's Samsung, Intel, Global Foundries, and of course, China's SMIC, each bringing their own flavor to the semiconductor feast. Let's zoom out for a global perspective. China's role in the semiconductor market is nothing short of massive. They import around $300 billion in semiconductors while producing $50 billion domestically. As of 2019, they held about 8% of the global semiconductor market share. These aren't just numbers, they're a testament to China's growing clout in the world of technology. Let's rewind a bit and understand the roots of this US-China semiconductor standoff. The year 2017 marked the onset with the US imposing sanctions against ZTE, a major Chinese tech firm. This move was more than a ripple in the tech world. It was a seismic wave, signaling the start of an intense tech tug of war. Fast forward to 2020, and the spotlight shifted to Huawei. 
the U.S. extended its sanctions, a move that reverberated through the global tech landscape. By 2022, the U.S. doubled down, imposing even more stringent restrictions on Chinese access to semiconductor manufacturing equipment. But here's the twist in 2023. Despite these hurdles, Huawei showed signs of a formidable comeback, making significant strides in domestic chip production. It was a statement, sanctions or not, innovation won't be stifled. However, the road ahead for China's semiconductor industry is lined with challenges. One of the biggest hurdles, limited access to advanced Western equipment, leading to higher production costs. It's like trying to win a race with one hand tied behind your back. But China is not one to back down from a challenge. They've doubled down on self-sufficiency, pouring investments into domestic semiconductor equipment manufacturing. It's a bold strategy, aiming to turn constraints into catalysts for innovation. Now, here's a question for you. How do you think these technological rivalries will shape the future of global tech? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're finding this deep dive intriguing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As we near the end of our journey, let's ponder the broader implications of this US-China semiconductor saga. The US export controls, while designed to maintain American technological supremacy, might just have a boomerang effect. By pushing China into a corner, the US might inadvertently be accelerating Chinese innovation in semiconductors. It's like a high-stakes chess game, where every move has global repercussions. The ripple effect of this tech tussle is felt across the globe. Every restriction, every advancement, reshapes the semiconductor industry and, by extension, technological progress worldwide. This isn't just a bilateral conflict. It's a narrative that could define the future of tech as we know it. Reflecting on this tech war, it's clear that the battle lines are drawn not just on economic or political grounds, but on the very frontiers of innovation. What does the future hold? Will we see a world where technological advancements are dictated by national interests? Or will collaboration eventually prevail? Only time will tell. Imagine a scenario where China successfully bypasses US restrictions and achieves semiconductor self-sufficiency. This could lead to a new era of technological innovation, one where China leads in certain sectors. Conversely, if the US maintains its edge, it could reinforce its position as the global tech leader, setting the standards for future technological advancements. Both scenarios present exciting possibilities and challenges. A China-led tech world might focus on different priorities and innovation areas, influencing global tech trends. On the other hand, continued U.S. dominance could mean a steady course on current technological trajectories, with emphasis on areas like AI and quantum computing. No matter the outcome, one thing is certain. The semiconductor industry will continue to be a critical battleground for technological and economic supremacy. So, keep watching this space and join us in exploring these fascinating developments. And now, we turn it over to you, our savvy Investify audience. What are your thoughts on the US-China semiconductor competition? How do you see this playing out in the years to come? Your opinions matter to us, so make sure to light up the comments section with your insights. Before we sign off, remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Investify for more content that keeps you ahead in the world of finance and technology. And don't forget to check out our latest video for more financial insights. This is Investify, signing out. Until next time, stay informed and keep investing wisely.